One of the savviest things you can do is earn yield on your crypto coins through DeFi. But I got to admit, that can be quite complicated to figure out. You gotta actively manage your positions and there are risks too, like impermanent loss. That's why most beginners just don't bother. They go with centralized options instead. But recently, Bancor launched their new platform called Bancor 3, and that changes everything. Their new features makes it super easy and convenient to earn DeFi yield on your coins. It was designed in a way that makes it great for beginners too. Just FYI, Bancor is a sponsor of our channel, but I'm not going to be shilling some token to you all. Instead, the goal of this video is to help you figure out if Bancor 3 is right for you. And to do that, we gotta understand what they are, why it's considered great for beginners, and how you could use it to generate passive income. So did you know that DEXs like Uniswap and SushiSwap have Bancor to thank for their success. Yep, Bancor was the project that pioneered the AMM model and the liquidity pool. They launched Bancor 1 in 2017, but they weren't satisfied with that version, so they kept on building and improving ever since. For example, some problems that plagued early AMMs were forced exposure to a single token and impermanent loss for liquidity providers. Those issues held back adoption, which in turn held back the amount of liquidity that entered the DeFi space. The team created Bancor 2, which introduced single-sided liquidity and guaranteed impermanent loss protection. Basically, if you held your LP positions for 100 days, then you could at least leave with the capital you entered with. That was a game changer, but it still wasn't perfect. And the team knew that. That's why they've been working hard on Bancor 3, which they just launched recently. This is a massive improvement and includes a ton of new features, which makes them arguably the best way for beginners to earn DeFi yield. But to understand why these features are so clutch, we gotta recap where the passive income even comes from. So on a high level, these are decentralized exchanges, right? And their purpose is to let people swap token A for token B. But for that to be possible, you need a pool with both tokens in it. But the team can't create every possible pool themselves, right? So they gotta incentivize other people to help. They do that by giving you a cut of the trading fees for some particular pool if you deposit respective tokens into that pool. That would make you a liquidity provider or LP. And those swap fees make up part of your yield. Some projects or platforms may even give out additional token rewards if they want to increase the incentives for some particular pool. This is a brilliant model that underpins much of DeFi, but it also faces a lot of challenges like impermanent loss, high gas fees, etc. I'm not going to explain each of those problems in depth, but just know that they are some pretty big hurdles that keep smaller investors from participating and generating yield on their coins. Fortunately, Bancor 3's features solves a lot of these problems. For example, they are now giving us full impermanent loss protection from day one. No more having to wait 100 days to get the full protection. This is a game changer. And how they accomplish this is by creating a clever algorithm in the back end that manages their protocol controlled liquidity. So the result is twofold. First, it's less likely that they'll have to mint new Bancor tokens to compensate users. And second, it's more likely that users will receive their impermanent loss compensation in the original token they deposited. Either way, this is one less thing for newbies to worry about when they provide liquidity to earn yield. The next useful feature is called the Omni Pool, and this invention is gonna save us a ton on gas fees. It's called Omni because it's gonna be like one big pool with all their available tokens inside of it. So conceptually, it's different from the traditional separate liquidity pools, each with their own pair of tokens. With this new approach, someone staking with Bancor 3 would save 80% on gas fees compared to the Bancor 2 platform. Also, if you're trading on their AMM DEX, you can now do a swap all in one hop instead of two hops. So this reduction in gas fees is way better for smaller users, and it also makes Bancor a more competitive DEX in general. Then there's something called Infinity Pools, which gives liquidity providers so much more flexibility than before. You can now contribute as much capital you want to the pools. There's no limit anymore like there was in Bancor 2. There's also less of a cooldown period, which means if you provide liquidity, you only have to wait seven days before you can withdraw your funds, which is much shorter than before. But I think the best feature of 
them all is their new auto compounding rewards. This is amazing because it automates a lot of stuff for us that we had to do manually before. Like we deposit our coins and we're earning yield on them, right? But if we wanna reinvest our earnings back into the pool, then we used to have to do that manually. So that would really suck because it would add extra gas fees along the way. And it means that we can't truly set and forget this. So that's why this auto compounding feature is so clutch and it helps beginner LPs earn even more by default. You kind of see why people say this is great for beginners. You don't have to worry about impermanent loss anymore. You don't have to spend a ton of gas fees to do a simple trade or to stake. You can be a liquidity provider and have so much more flexibility than before. And it's truly a set and forget platform now. No need to come back to manage things or reinvest your yield. So if you wanna try them out, here's how it works. Just go to their app and first view you see will be their earn page. This is where you can earn that DeFi yield or passive income. There's now over 150 tokens live on their platform and you can see all of the APY rates of what you can earn by depositing them. So first you connect your wallet, which has the coin you want to earn yield on. Then you click into the coin and type in how much you want to deposit. It shows you straight up the rate that you get because of the compounding rewards feature. And that's it. Just follow the flow and then afterwards you can track your earnings on the portfolio tab. If you want to trade on their decks, just click on the trade tab and you can put in a trade with a market or limit order. You can also click on the tokens link to see a list of all the tokens they support. So that's it, you literally just check out the rates, choose a token you wanna earn yield on, and boom, passive income. Let me know if you have any questions and go check them out using my links down below.